In this video, we will understand the method of contradiction to prove irrational numbers. The word contradiction means a statement that is opposite from another. In mathematical reasoning, method of contradiction is a way of proving which is based on the fact that a statement can only be true or false. It can't be both true and false at once. Under this method, the idea is to prove the statement is true by showing it can't be false. Let's understand it with the help of an example. Consider the conversation in which teacher asks the student why your work is incomplete. To which the student replies, I was ill and even could not get out of the bed. Teacher refuted the statement by saying, but the photographs of the birthday party project something else. Here the photographs are contradicting the statement of the student. After understanding the situation of contradiction, let's understand one theorem that will help to prove non-perfect truths as irrational. The theorem states that if p is a prime number and p divides a positive integer a expressed as a square, then it implies p also divides a. Consider 2 as a prime number and 16 as a positive integer, which is expressed as square of 4, as 16 is divisible by 2, which implies 4 is also divisible by 2. In simple words, if a number is divisible by some number in higher powers, then it is also divisible by the same number in its simplest powers. Let's prove root of 3 is irrational. Since irrational numbers can't be expressed in the form of p over q, so let's assume to the contrary that root of 3 is rational. Since it is assumed as rational, and rational numbers are expressed in the simplest form, so to represent root of 3 in the form of numerator and denominator, two variables are to be assumed with the condition of co-prime. Therefore, there are two co-primes a and b such that p is not equal to 0, as denominator can't be 0. As root of 3 is non-repeating and non-terminating, so to remove the root, squaring is done on both sides to get 3 equals a square over b square. On transposing b square and 3 we get b square equals a square upon 3. As a square is divisible by 3, therefore using the theorem, a is also divisible by 3. Thus a equals 3q where q belongs to integer. It means a has 3 as one of its factor. Now put a equals 3q in equation 1 to get b square equals 3q square. On transposing 3 to the other side we get b square over 3 equals q square. Again b square is divisible by 3 giving q square as answer which implies b is also divisible by 3. Thus both a and b have 3 as common factor. But this contradicts the assumption that a and b are co-prime. That is a and b have no common factor other than 1. This contradiction has arisen because of our incorrect assumption. Hence we conclude root of 3 is irrational. Moving on to the next type. If a rational number is added, subtracted, multiplied or divided by an irrational number, the resulting number is always irrational. Let's understand the proof of such irrational numbers. Let us assume to the contrary that 5 plus root of 7 is rational. Therefore there are two co-primes a and b such that b is not equal to 0. Mathematically, 5 plus root of 7 equals a over b. Transposing 5 to the other side, we get root of 7 equals a over b minus 5. On taking the LCM, root of 7 equals a minus 5b over b. Since a, b and 5 are integers and difference of integers is always an integer, thus root of 7 is rational as it equals integer upon integer. But this contradicts the fact that root of 7 is irrational number as it is non-terminating and non-repeating. This contradiction has arisen because of our incorrect assumption. Hence, we conclude 5 plus root of 7 is an irrational number. Moving on to the next type. If two irrational numbers are added, subtracted, multiplied or divided, the result is an irrational number. To prove root of 5 plus root of 3 as irrational, let us assume to the contrary that root of 5 plus root of 3 is rational. Therefore, there are two co-primes a and b such that p is not equal to 0. Mathematically, root of 5 plus root of 3 equals a over b. Transposing root 3 to the other side we get. On squaring both sides we get 5 equals a square over b square plus 3 minus 2 root 3 into a over b. On transposing we get 2 root 3 into a over b equals a square over b square plus 3 minus 5, which is simplified as a square over b square minus 2. On taking the LCM we get 2 into root of 3 into a over b equals 
a square minus 2b square over p square. On simplifying b with b square, we get root of 3 equals a square minus 2b square over 2ab. Since a2 and b are integers and difference of integers is integer, thus root of 3 is a rational number as it equals integer over integer. But this contradicts the fact that root of 3 is an irrational number as it is non-terminating and non-repeating. This contradiction has arisen because of our incorrect assumption. Hence, we conclude root of 5 plus root of 3 is an irrational number. So, this was it for the video. See you in the next one. Thank you for watching.